Hello riders, welcome back to Ride with GPS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair Bluetooth devices to the mobile app for Android and iPhone. Although I'm demonstrating on an iPhone, the same exact steps will apply to the Android version. Tap the upper left corner, then go down to Settings, Bluetooth. You'll need to enable Bluetooth, then tap Set up Bluetooth devices. The ticker acts as my heart rate monitor, so let's pair that. This model has a cadence and speed sensor that only works with the Wahoo app, so let's disable those. So now we have our heart rate. It's getting updated in real time. Then hit save. We have a lot of devices in the office, which is why you see the unknown device. To pair my speed and cadence sensor, I'll have to turn the cranks to spin the wheel a little bit to activate that sensor. Refresh that. There's my sensor select it. This one does have speed and cadence. To get the speed to work correctly, I'll have to enter in my wheel circumference in millimeters. The Android version of the app will configure your circumference automatically once you start recording a ride and moving. Let's save. My two sensors are now paired. And then we'll go back out. And we can tap and go ride. Tap and hold one of my metrics. And select heart rate. You'll also see heart rate by default by sliding over. You can customize both of these screens. Let's also select cadence. I only see these values once I start recording my ride. There is my heart rate. And there's my speed and my cadence. If you want to pair Bluetooth speakers or headphones to use with the app, do not pair within the app, but rather the settings of your phone. Go to settings, Bluetooth, make sure my device is on. There's my headphones. I'll select them. That's it for connecting Bluetooth devices. Now get out and ride. 